welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the best apps for note taking. So the first app we are going to talk about is Concepts. In Concepts, we can create a page when you click here and we'll get an awesome layout and app. Like I just love that layout, how they design the whole thing. And if you made a mistake like I did because I forgot, to, not forgot, I was not able to write the correct E that round. So if you're like me, then it's really helpful. You can just zoom in however you want and you can correct it. And they give a, a variety number of colors and I just love the way they show that color set. And we can write with different color and different modes of brush. It's really awesome. They also give us something called dot dot lines, so which we see in a color books and everything. So we can just draw a picture or anything. I just drew a house. So it was fun. Usually we don't get that option in many apps, but this is awesome. And all the apps I'm showing in this video, we can like uh, we can extract the notes into a PDF or into a uh, JPG file. It's very easy. I mean, usually in notes file uh, application and everything, uh, we don't get to download the PDF. We can only view that PDF or that note in that specific app. It's really annoying. But in these apps, we can do that. We can even select the text and we can make it bigger or smaller according to our wish. So the next app I am going to talk about is touch notes. Touch notes we can create a new note like this. Here they don't provide much of a uh, layout or tools as we have seen in the previous app but this is nice. I mean compared to other apps these are the apps which I prefer the most. And the next app I'm going to talk about is NoteShelf. NoteShelf gives us a very unique option. Like we can categorize our notes based on each subject. And that's not with which we get in everyday apps. Uh, I mean, we do get, uh, we can categorize it as a folder wise, but that's a lot of work. But this is much more easier for me at least. But they don't provide much option for writing, but it's pretty neat. In this app, I just love their second option writing pen. That's awesome. So the next app is OneNote. I mean, that's really nice uh, application because uh, if we did some notes in our tab or in our phone, then we can see the same file uh, in our laptop as well. It's awesome. Like usually we'll have to share from this uh, tab to the uh, laptop and it's that's a lot of work. But instead, if you are doing a notes inside OneNote, then we can can it gets automatically uploaded to the website uh, not the website to the OneNote cloud so from there we can watch like we can review that or we can edit that from our laptop as well 
uh, I won't be explaining every single tools uh, in this video but if you need that let me know in the comment section uh, they do give a pretty much a neat facility for doing notes or for writing notes I mean especially this is good if you're taking class I mean online classes and all this is a very good app for that The next app is Incredible Pro. Uh, that's what I'm using. So when we first start this application, we are given these many options. From there, we can choose one. Uh, after choosing that, they are asking us to note, uh, asking us to write that notebook title. We can fill all of that, and we can even customize our own cover page and the book paper. We can just. We can choose whichever options, I mean, we can choose from whichever options given from there. And I just love its pen writing. The last app we are going to talk about today in this video is Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes, they do provide an option for foldering the notes and it's nice. And in the recent update, they have given new tools as well for doing uh, nodes and other stuff. So we can add uh, photos, audio and everything. But if you want to know more detailed version for the Samsung Notes, ask me in the comment box. I'll get back to you with a new video of Samsung Notes. Here in Samsung Notes, we can write, we can change the color of the text and we can resize the text which we have, which we have already written and highlight it, etc, etc. So that's all for today's video. See you next time.